So now, how does the tuning fork produce sound and how do we hear it? So we just saw that the tuning fork, it moves back and forth like this. Well, when it moves this way, it slams the air molecules together, creating a compression zone, a whole bunch of air molecules in one space. When the tuning fork moves in, it creates like a vacuum, like a suction cup. And so there's very few air molecules. That would be this zone. It's called the rarefraction zone, or think of it as the suction area. And it keeps going in this motion. Every time it goes out, it's slamming air molecules together. Every time it comes in, it's sucking them apart. And you get a wave pattern like this. This is literally the air molecules and what they look like when sound waves are produced. This travels through the air, and then it smacks you in the ear. And when the compression zones hit your ear, it knocks the hairs, your eardrum knocks them all in. And when the next part comes through, the suction part, it sucks it back out. And before you know it, the stuff inside your ear is moving back and forth at the exact same frequency that this stuff was produced by the tuning fork. That's how the sound is produced. And, that's, and, and the medium of air is how it's, the wave is transported. And then it hits your ear, moving the stuff inside there at the same frequency. And that's how you hear it.